it goes without saying that the Xbox Game Pass is arguably one of the best deals to come from Microsoft in a while, at least when you think about the sheer amount of games you get for the service along with the day one releases on the platform. I didn't say they were all good, but at least you got them. I feel like this pass is pretty essential for anyone who plays Xbox regularly. I mean, as long as you can get past the monthly subscription and you're willing to enjoy an abundance of titles you know to get your money's worth, the pass is without a doubt your gateway to enjoying the latest Xbox consoles at their full potential. And that experience just got even more enticing. Not only is Microsoft fighting in court to get their guys even more games on the platform and absolutely sh** on PlayStation service, but the Game Pass Ultimate just got back an amazing feature that's definitely gonna turn some heads in interest. Now I should note that I'm not talking about the regular Game Pass in this video. I'm talking about the tier of subscription that's more suitable for the hardcore Xbox fan called the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is the only one subject to this new change. Now like the name implies, the Game Pass Ultimate not only has a more dope name, but also more dope features as it comes with all of the regular Game Pass features along with the additional Xbox Cloud Gaming, an EA Play subscription, and Xbox Live Gold. Now while all of these subscriptions and features can be a little hard to track, you know, if you weren't familiar to Xbox, understanding this pass will be like trying to understand Attack on China's last season naming, but I can assure you that it's a great deal and you'd pay even more for all of those things separately. However, as an attraction to the new players, Xbox is now allowing the new people who sign up for the Game Pass Ultimate and PC Pass is pretty much the same thing, to sign up for only $1 on their first month. Now longtime Xbox fans would probably know that this feature was previously a staple in the Game Pass for years before it was removed for a brief time back in March. And why they did that is pretty simple, I mean $1 in paying the light bill. But I guess the Game Pass Ultimate needs a little more attraction because Xbox just revived this feature and it's been placed into effect for anyone new to the service. Except while that is, you know, pretty good news, this new change comes at a price that I think everyone should be aware of, especially if you're under the impression that this deal is the same as it previously was before Xbox removed it back in March. You see, back then, if you had Xbox Live Gold and decided you wanted to go Turbo Gamer Mode and upgrade to the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you could easily do so, and in the process, whatever remaining time you had left with Xbox Live Gold, for example, buying a prepaid 90 day gold pass, and that remaining 90 days of gold automatically turns into 90 days of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate once you convert. It was a fire deal, and definitely a good way to unknowingly save a little money as an Xbox player. However, now it's not necessarily going to be like that. You see, Xbox is generous, but at the end of the day, they're just like any other business trying to scour our pockets as much as possible. And that's apparent because going further, instead of having a 1 to 1 ratio for the amount of time left with Xbox Live to you know the Game Pass Ultimate days, it's now been reduced to a 3 to 2 ratio. Meaning that if we go back to our example of having 90 days of you know Xbox Live left before we switch, you now instead only have 60 days left of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate before you're billing. It's gonna get a little weird when you break down that conversion with an odd number of days, but apparently Xbox is just gonna round that number to the nearest one and use that day. And here I thought half the shit I learned in math class wouldn't get applied in real life. So while it is a minor change and definitely not the worst that could happen, it's definitely one that players should take note of if they had all thought otherwise. It's apparent that Microsoft is cutting corners on being generous and focusing more on getting more bread. Not only with this, but also with the price increase of the regular Game Pass going to effect tomorrow. So hopefully, while we may have to suffer the inevitable price changes, the Xbox Game Pass can still retain its value among Xbox fans in the future. So what do you guys think about the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and, you know, this new change, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.